to the prayer for peace. This is a prayer for anyone who is desiring to have more peace of mind, peace of heart, and comfort. Meditate on this prayer when you are feeling anxious or stressed, and when you are in need of increased calmness, rest, and contentment. Allow these words to comfort your soul and lift you up as you agree with me in prayer and as we seek the Lord. Let's pray. Lord, we come to you today because we are desiring to have more peace. Lord, right now, help us to just take a moment to take a deep breath as we come before you. I lift up the listener to you who is in need of peace today. Lord, we ask you right now to come and meet with us, to overflow your peace onto us and into our hearts and minds. Calm our anxious and restless hearts. Help us to experience and live in the peace that you have given to us. Calm the stress, tension, and anxiety that is filling our minds. Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. We need you. Help us to rest in you, to find true rest in you. Jesus, come and fill us. Renew our hearts and minds. Please remove our stress, worry, and anxiety. We need your help. It might not be logical for us to be full of peace in our current circumstances, but you have provided us with peace that surpasses all understanding. In whatever situation we might be facing and whatever is going on in our lives, help us to be filled with that peace, your peace. We long to be free from a mind that is anxious and stressed, restless and constantly racing and worrying about the next thing. Lord, you have already given us peace. It is already ours. John 14 verse 27 says, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give, so don't be troubled or afraid. Lord, please help us to take hold of the peace you have already given us and apply it to our lives. Thank you that you have provided peace for us no matter what we are facing. We choose to live in peace, God. We choose to think good thoughts that will enhance our peace. Help us to quiet our minds to the world and get quiet before you. Help us to spend time in your word so that we know how to live in peace and so that we know what steals our peace and what will bring us peace. Lord, remind us that if we focus on you, you will provide everything we need and we don't need to worry. Matthew 6 verse 33 says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Help us not to worry or stress about things that we cannot control. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Lord, I pray that the listener would go to you in prayer about everything that is worrying them. Lord, your word says that when we go to you and tell you what we need and thank you for what you have done, we will experience your peace. I pray right now that the listener would experience this truth, that they would experience your peace as they obey your word and come to you in prayer with thanksgiving. Help us to fix our minds on all that is good and pleasing to you and all the things that will fill us with peace. Do not let us fix our minds on the things that cause us anxiety and stress and worry. Help us to realize when we are letting our minds fixate on these things and help us to stop and redirect our thoughts to something good. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says that you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Perfect peace, that is your promise, God. That is your promise to those who trust in you and fix their thoughts on you. So Lord, as we trust in you and fix our thoughts on you, we are expecting that you will keep us in perfect peace. Romans 8 verse 6 says that for to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Help us to set our minds on things of the spirit, that we may be filled with life and peace. Let us not desire to set our minds on things of the flesh. I pray that we wouldn't find any enjoyment in setting our minds on things of the flesh and that we would quiet our mind in this area. God, what we focus on determines if we will experience peace or not. Help us to only focus on the good. Help us not to meditate on the things that we cannot change. Let us take all our fears, worries, and anxieties to you in prayer. God, if we are with you, we don't need to fear. Whether we live or we die, we are with you. There are only greater things to come. 
Help us to meditate on how good you are, how amazing our future is with you, and all that you have given us. God, help us to stop chasing after things that don't bring peace. Help us to realize what idols in our life are stealing our peace and joy, whether this is the idol of emotions, worry, relationships, money, success, or entertainment. God, reveal to us what we are idolizing in our lives so that we can stop allowing it to take away our peace. Jesus, we pray that we would be known for our peace, that we would stand out as different in a world full of anxiety, stress, worry, and fear, that we would be seen as those who are not swayed by the trials, troubles, and inconveniences that come our way, but that we would be in a constant state of underlying peace because we know that you are with us and no matter what, we have the hope and peace of an eternity with you. Help us not to be so easily swayed by our emotions and feelings. Help us not to respond as the world responds. Help us not to be blown around by every storm that comes our way, but help us to respond the way that you would have us respond, the way that is pleasing to you. We pray that we would be so different from the world in this way, that we would be full of peace instead of anxiety, peace instead of stress, peace instead of worry, peace instead of fear. That we wouldn't respond to situations the way the world does, with stress and anxiety, but that we would respond with peace and hope. Help us to be so full of peace that we are able to spread it to others and so that they can experience and live in peace as well. Help us to overflow our peace onto those in our lives who desperately need it. Provide for us peace in situations where we feel we are restless and discontent. If you want us to stay where we are, if this is a season of waiting, please give us peace and contentment to stay in that. Give us a renewed hope and enjoyment in whatever it is you want us to stick with. If you are calling us to go somewhere or start something new, whether that is to go to another city, country, or a new school, new job, or new path, and we are afraid to make that change and take that step, give us peace so we can walk in confidence, boldness, and joy into that new season. Remove the uncertainty in us and give us peace about whatever decision it is we need to make. Help us not to question the decision, but to be confident in it. Be with us in the decisions we need to make and be with us in the in-between time, God. The time where we don't know and we feel uneasy and we don't have an answer and we don't have clarity. Help us to experience your peace and rest even in those moments when it can be so hard to understand. Help us to wait on you, to trust in your timing, and to know that you have a good plan even when it doesn't make sense or seems impossible. If the listener is waiting for a door to be opened, Lord, we pray that only the door you want them to go through would be opened so that they can be confident in the direction you are taking them. Direct their steps, God. Lord, if the listener is struggling with being obedient to you in a specific area, please help them to turn to you and obey. You bless our obedience, Lord, and through our obedience we receive peace. So we pray that you would provide them that peace as they turn to you and surrender their sin to you. If we need to change our behavior, actions, and thoughts, please reveal that to us if we don't already know, and help us to change. Lead us in your way so that we can experience more of you, more of your presence, and more of your peace. Let it be our joy and peace to spend time with you. Help us to be able to live in peace even in the midst of our hectic, chaotic lives, and even on busy days and in troubling circumstances or situations. Help us not to be overwhelmed, but to have consistent peace. Help us to respond to others with peace and grace in times when we are frustrated, annoyed, hurt, and threatened. Help us to respond as you would, Jesus. Help us not to feel the need to be right all the time or to impress others. Remove the desire for perfection or the desire to be accepted by others or the desire to change others. Help us, Lord, to grow in our peace and fill others with that peace. Help us not to just be receivers of peace, but to take that peace you've given us and spread it to others, to be peacemakers. Help us to be at peace with who we are. Jesus, you love us and we are enough in you. We are loved and you died for us. Help us to be content and satisfied with that. Help us to have peace about any past mistakes we may have made and help us not to live in consistent regret, Lord, but help us to be free from regret, free from guilt, and free from shame. You want us to live in full peace, no matter our mistakes, and you want us to experience the peace that surpasses all understanding that you have given to us. Help us to lay off the weight of sin and lay off the weight of guilt and shame. 
Help us to lay that at your feet, to fully let go of our mistakes, and to move forward in obedience, fully embracing your peace. It is not about all the things we do or how successful we become, but it is just about being your children and loving others. You do not see us as the world sees us, God, and help us to have peace in knowing that. It is not about how we appear to others, because you see our heart, and you are constantly refining us and making us new and beautiful. Help us to have peace about our future and our eternity with you. For any listener who is questioning their salvation, Lord, would you give them peace and confidence to know that if they are seeking you, if they declare with their mouth that you are Lord and believe in their heart that you raised Jesus from the grave, they will be saved no matter what mistakes they have made. We pray that you would give them the strength to turn from any sin in their lives and in doing so that they will be filled to bursting with peace, that they would be full of such abundant peace, Lord. Help us to remember that we are not alone. No matter what, we always have you with us, but we also have others, God. Let us not forget those in our lives who love us, who care about us, and who are willing to help us. Help us to lean on others and not try to carry our burdens all on our own. Give us the courage to open up to others and receive comfort through our relationships. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Lord, help us to be still and wait patiently for you. God, we long for peace of mind. I pray that you would let all our racing thoughts slow down and yield to you. Quiet the listener's thoughts, ease their mind, allow them to experience the fullness of peace that you have for them, that you have already given them. Help us to live in total peace, joy, and contentment. Help us not to chase after things that will only steal our peace. Do not let our hearts be troubled and do not let us be afraid. We receive your peace right now, God. We accept your peace. We embrace your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.